Link, you did well to survive your trial. I have been wa awaiting your return. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm recording right now. That would have been a very bad accident. The violent downpour has disappeared, as has the threat to Zora's domain. It is all little more than a bad dream now. Thanks to your efforts, there is no longer any danger of a great flood laying waste to Hyrule. You appeased the divine beast Valruta and thusly saved Zora's domain. <laughs> we are all truly grateful. What you did for us is more than we could have ever expected of you. Link, I must sincerely apologize for my Oh wait, sorry, it's you. <clears throat> Link, I must sin sincerely apologize for my harsh treatment of you. That whole time, you were thinking of Hyrule's and Lady Mipha's well-being, just like the rest of us. All of the members of our council humbly fold our fins back in gratitude, along with the rest of our people. Perhaps the older generation of Zora, myself included, misunderstood Hylians after all. So it would seem. That being said, I would be overjoyed if you could find it in your heart to forgive me. If not now, then perhaps one day. Link, I must reward your efforts. Now then, I implore you to collect the treasure inside that chest over there. It was cherished by Mipha, a memento of sorts. I would like to you to have it as a token of our friendship. Please, take good care of it. Mm. By the way, Link, I see you are without your trusty blade, the sword that seals the darkness. Mm. Did you perhaps lose it when you lost your memory? Uh, pretty sure I know what sword, but what sword? Mm. Hmm, so you've forgotten that as well. That is a legendary blade that only you, the Hylian Champion, can wield. It is no doubt resting somewhere in Hyrule even now, waiting for its master to return. <laughs> Link, all of the Zora thank you from the depths of our hearts for your heroic and selfless work. Mm. And you too, Sidon. <laughs> As your father, I am proud of you for fighting the Divine Beast alongside Link. You have grown much recently. I know that you will be wor a worthy heir when your time comes. Huh. Father, I... Thank you. <laughs> the heavy rains have stopped, and the Divine Beast is our ally once again. <laughs> how glorious, how truly splendid. Wahahaha. <laughs> Link, this is wonderful. Link, thank you so much. Truly, I could never thank you enough. You helped save our home from vanishing away. This calls for a top-tier expression of gratitude. Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
Cool. So we can just get light scale tridents? Sorry, buddy. I'm not... I'm not aiming that at you. And this thing's... Here, let me put it away. Let me look at this thing. Uh, compared to our normal weapon, this is 22 power. And this is also 22 power, but this doesn't look like it has a, a toughness? Huh. Cool. Neat. So we can get this remade if we ever lose it? I don't know what he's talking about. What is the ceremonial trident? Don't have it in your possession, but it's somewhere in this world. Uh, if you have entrusted it to someone, there, that is one thing. But if not, I must strongly suggest you locate it. So I need to be keeping a, a lookout for that thing. Whoa. That's cool. Okay, well, I guess we should probably be going back to where we were at the end of last episode. So, pardon me. Are we headed up the mountain? I would assume so. But I'm trying to see where... Where would be the best path up the mountain? Would it be down there? And if so, can I get Hart up there? Because he's nearby. And if I can get Hart, then that would be great. Here, let me let me change my gear over to... I, I guess it's not fitting gear, but it it's more fitting than the swimming gear. Where is Hart? He was somewhere... Okay, so there's a guardian. I believe that was the guardian that was heckling me last episode. There's also one way down there, which looks... It looks kind of creepy from above, like a spider. A white spider. Hey! Sup, dude? You got away. Well, that's sad. Okay, so where is Hart? He was... Near here? No, buddy. You don't... You don't see anything. You don't see anything, buddy. Okay, was Hart over here? I'm right next to the... The cheeky little guy. Where are you? You're not there. See? Oh, there! All the way over there. So, can I bring him up there? And will he... <laughs> the important question. Will he start on fire if I bring him over that way? That's the true question. Let, let's find out together, shall we? But like I said, I was not intending to record today. Uh, I was just getting, I was doing some hunting off screen. Speaking of which, um, if Future Pal, you edited that together and found interesting things, use it. Cool. There's footage, but man, that's, that's majestic, ain't it? In fact, uh, let's, let's take a snapshot of that. That looks, heart, you're, you're posing. That is, that's beautiful. That is, that's gorgeous. That's not a horse, that's heart. Okay. But what I was saying, uh, I, I, when I triggered that cutscene, I just thought, you know what, why not? Why not record today? And so here I am. But where... Can I go up this way? Can I head up there with heart? What's the sign say? Goron City ahead. Heat level, yeah. I, I made some stuff for that. Off screen as well. I made a bunch of heat resistance potions. And let's see, heart can oh I can. Oh heart, can you do this? Yes! I'm not sh I don't think I'm supposed to be able to take heart up here, but I'll give it a shot. Let's see, can I can't climb that. Yeah, sorry, Heart. I don't I don't want to be too demanding of you, but It'd be really nice if you could come with me. And this marker is almost pointing to the right? I mean, I can't take heart this way, obviously. So I guess I'm supposed to just ditch him. Which is sad, but that's the only recourse I can I can see. I guess we're just supposed to ditch him and keep following these, these lanterns? Okay. Okay, where was that? The guardian's over that away. Uh, and let's... Also, now that we're in the the, heat, the officially hot areas, uh, let's re-equip... Let's see, which one of these is worse? This is worse, so let's equip this. 
Uh, let's equip that, and I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine, except for the, the issue of me burning up. So, let's ha eat one of, let's see. Let's eat the one with the shortest duration, since I'm not entirely sure how long I'm going to be here. Why am I still on fire? Is this not enough heat resistance? Apparently, it's not enough heat resistance. Maybe maybe that's because I'm just right next to the lava. Let's let's find out together. I mean, like I said last episode, this being clo this close to lava would probably kill you. You would you just die straight up. Also, I'm going to just use this ice rod while I can. Also, if I have the ice rod in my hands, do I still burn? N yeah, I, I still burn. Well, that answers that question. So, I would probably be burning right now. Just, I have the, the heat resistance. Okay, I remember you. We're still backtracking. Let's see, would I be able to fly over this man? I mean, he sees me. Or he has every opportunity to see me. So, I guess... I probably should just skip to the tower. Uh, in fact, here, let me do that now. Uh, I'm on fire. My heat resistance should be, you know, helping with this. I don't know why it's not, but I guess I'll just keep healing through it. I also want to find the shrines on the way because I am on... Whoa, I'm actively on flames. I'm act actively on fire. Beyond what I can heal through. Uh, let's eat... Let's see, what was... What's my weakest dish here? I made a lot of food, but I, I'd rather not burn through it all immediately. Uh, that refreshes that. I guess we'll just eat some... Oh, wait a couple more seconds. Yeah, because I'm fine. So, what's the... What is the plan here? I, I need heat resistance, but I can't get close to the mountain. Are we supposed to be setting else something off? We went to the foothill stable. We followed the, the road. So, if there was any cutscene, we did not miss it. So, I don't know. This is odd to me. It, it It's like they're, they're telling me that... I need to be completing, or I need to be doing this story, story thing. Okay, I need to actually heal. I need to be doing this story thing, but I'm not allowed to. Uh, let's run out of the fire. So I, I what, what am I supposed to do? I thought so. Hold on, buddy. Are you really headed to Goron City dressed like that? Yes, ma'am. See, this is how tourists get a bad rep. That place is sheer, is a sheer cliff after sheer cliff, and it gets so hot past the second checkpoint that your body will catch on fire. Normally, I wouldn't stop a stranger from, him and, from heading to their doom. Wow. But I kind of like you. So I guess I have no, no choice but to sell you these fireproof elixirs. They can protect you from the burning air. Well, sh <laughs> I probably shouldn't. Should have talked to her first. Now, shouldn't I have... I'll take three. Thanks. Fireproof? How? It, apparently, that's just different from heat resistant. Welp. Hi. This time with a fireproof elixir, I'm gonna head toward this shrine. And honestly, I, I'm probably not the first person to. In fact, I can I can count on. I mean, not being the first person... I'm headed towards it still. It's in the middle of the fire lake, isn't it? That's unfortunate. But I'm probably not the first one to make the mistake of not making the distinction between the fire-resistant elixir, or fire-resistant effect, and there it is, and the, uh, the flame resistance, because that's... that's kinda, kinda dumb. What? Oh, it's, it's that guy. I've seen him before. He's he's old news. But let's see if I can fly to this thing. It's actually. Wait a minute. I can I can do this. Well, first of all, can I try? <laughs> yeah, okay. I thought I thought not, but I had to try. So, metal box. 
metal works on fire, as I have learned from Star Wars. You can die. Also, I really like the effect that it has of automatically lighting your arrows. That's neat. That's... Oh, you're still alive. Here. Let me... Let me end you this way. Goodbye. I probably should have done that first. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was close. And let's use Magnesis on this last. On this one. Bring it closer. Drop it. And now, let's be smart about this. Let's grab the first one. Because I don't think I can make it there with, with just one. Let's drop it there. Move this a bit closer. Jump! And I don't think we can make that either, so let's just do that and... Running jump this time. And now for you. I'll just plop you right there. And running jump. And running jump. There we go. The Quarame Shrine. In lava. A balanced approach in the Quarame Shrine. So there's my chest. And an empty area over this way. So we're obviously expected to work with scales here. But I need to find a good starting point for this. There's where we complete the thing. We have an alternate objective of a small key. Can we lift those out? No, it does not appear so. So, hmm. Okay, so we're gonna blow that up and immediately get our chest. So that's easy enough. But the problem is, is now I just destroyed. Oh, oh, oh. I was gonna say, I just destroyed the scale, so I can't reset that. But no, we immediately get our small key, which is going to unlock these, which are way more permanent methods of of using these balances so that'll kill me so my goal here is to put a box here so that it will stop me from rising into the spikes and then use these two to counterweight the, the one and then my body weight and that's the plan ultimately I think that'll work that's a good start so, I need to be on top of this platform now, and then use this, up there, drop it, and it'll stop me, yeah, it'll stop me. So now I can use bombs to set this down, get over there, I think that's fine, oh boy. So that's how we solve this. That's, that's cool and all, but I need to get over there. And so my thought is just reverse this process, actually. So I'll get down here. Oh, that's, that's actually, that's, that's wrong. Uh, here. So I'll place one there, grab that one, place it on there, board miss. And I should be able to fly, oh, oh, I know what I need to do. So... I need to... I'll place one over there just for security. Come on, camera. I'll place one on that, like I said, for security. But then... I actually need this one for two reasons. I need to set it up here. Actually, I don't think I can climb it anyway, so... I need this one here... In order to weight that down. Can I do that? Yeah, yeah. So I'll use that to weight it down, and I'll stay, it'll stay, cool, and then, I, I, I love how whenever I do puzzles, I, I just get this weird patronizing tone, so I'll set that down there, oh, <laughs> I, I'm a counterweight, I forgot, I weigh, I, I have a weight, so let's use this, push that down, and is it stable? It's stable. 
And now I'm up to the top. It's kind of weird, but it works. I get a Knight's Claymore. You know what? You know what? Ah, oh, but this is actually kind of nice. Considering how many fire enemies are around. Here, what, what else do I have? If I can navigate the menu. This is nice. That's actually, you know what? No, I can throw away the ice rod because I have a, I have a stinking light spear. Neat. And I will equip, yeah, okay, okay, I, it's equipped. Okay, so now, the only thing I need to do is to resolve this puzzle. So, pardon me while I do just that. And in an easy fix, I don't actually have to get back over. Because I have the ability to fly. Cool. Now that's not quite the end of the episode, mainly because a lot of what I've done, a lot of what I do in these episodes is just off-screen work. Hey, buddy! You, you are a flamey enemy! Ah, oh, I can't really beat that! I can't beat that! Uh, here. I'll beat it like that. Oh. Oh, hello. Neat, that instantly kills. I probably should have gone back and bought more of those items. Of those arrows. That's useful. Wow. Okay, so continuing on, like I said, not at the end of the episode quite yet. Using my frost spear. Finally, the frost spear makes sense to me as as the elemental weakness elemental weakness of fire. So in so many games, like Pokemon, we've been taught that it's the opposite, that that because fire beats ice, or fire melts ice, that it beats it. But I, whenever I was a kid, I, I wondered, well, first of all, fire isn't a material thing. Ice is. So if there's... Oh! If there's ice, then it should beat it, right? Because it will melt in the water and then put out the fire. I don't think I can tangle with this. I'll be honest. Oh, I really don't think I can even touch this. Here, let's let's find out. Here, yeah, get your thing. Yeah, I can't. I mean, maybe I can do that, but that's that's about it as good as I can do. So I I don't think I'm gonna tangle with this guy. You know what, buddy? Uh, later. I will stock up on arrows and I will kill you not now so uh, let's let's take this opportunity to mark this on our map there is death here and I'm gonna run now and you have a good day am I in a dead end no I'm still on the road and you have a good day buddy I I don't want to fight you I was wondering if there's going to be a cutscene that that took place because I was I was near something cool, you know, like in when we were going to the Zora's domain, that that happened. But no, it's it's a boss, and a, a rather cool remix of a of a boss we fought multiple times before. Having him be engulfed in flames, making us fight him as we originally did, nice touch. All right, so where are we headed here? We're close. We might be able to make it this episode. Or I, we actually might... I think we're going to be running into a cutscene. What is that? Oh. I saw motion over there from the from the fire, and I thought it was some weird lizard. But no, it, it's not a lizard. So can the boss music please go away? I'm not fighting a boss anymore. Thank you. So we're in a village. Which actually looks like a good place to end the episode if we can talk to some people. Hey, you! Who are you? Hey, perfect! You showed up at just the right time. I'm on my way back to from Goron City, but forgot to buy souvenirs. I wanted to capture some of those fireproof lizards that live here on Death Mountain, but those suckers are quick. Say, you look pretty speedy. I bet it, you could catch a ton. If you bring me ten, I'll even give you some heat-resistant armor. So what do you say, buddy? Help a pal out of a jam by capturing me from some fireproof lizards? Great! Thanks, buddy! Just ten should be enough. You can probably find some around here. So, wait. 
Oh, oh, he wants, he doesn't want Lizalfos, he wants lizards. Oh, that may, like that. Yeah, okay, I was so confused. I was wondering, do you want me to kill some Lizalfos and bring you the tails? Because I've done that, but no, he wants me to find lizards, as he says. Here, let me, re you know what, no, I can do that in the end slate. Let's, let's find out what these people are all about first before I just start digging around in the dirt. I see a lizard, though. Is that a lizard? Oh, those are two of them. Oh, I'm... You You don't even know. You don't even know. Th this is my calling. I can catch lizards like no one has ever caught lizards before. Just watch how fast I am. Like, in post. Or not in post. In... Oh. <laughs> in between episodes, I was... I was capturing... Or I was hunting enemies. Or, or like... I was hunting things by sneaking up on them and stabbing the deer. It's so metal. Grumble. Okay, he has nothing to say. You're the same guy. Hey, some Gorons. Oh, a baby Goron. Oh, my word. What's up? Why is my older brother Grayson always complaining about stuff? But why? Why don't you know? You're, if you're a grown-up, you should always say the truth. He's so cute. I love it. He's... He's tiny and cute. Okay, what about you guys? How about you? Bah! You scared me! What is it? Uh, who are you? Me? I'm Django. I need to com concentrate while I'm working. If you want to talk, come see me when it's night time. Okay. Yeah. Me. Oh, uh, nothing. Hmm. Hey, what about you? I like how they're different color this time around. Ha ha ha! My happiness is the boss's happiness, and that means it's Goron City and his happiness too. Dig, dig, and dig some more, then sell all that sweet, sweet ore. Hmph. That has nothing to do with you. Uh, who are you? I'm Darrell, the head of the Goron Group Mining Company. We're digging this site under direct orders from the boss of Goron City. No time to chat. Gotta dig. You need something else? Uh, what's Goron City? Goron City is where us Gorons live. Mm. Just go straight down this road to get there. But as a Hylian, you better be careful to not get burned. <laughs> you need something else? Looks tough. The reason Goron City is so prosperous is because of the work we do here. I want to dig closer to the summit, but that lizard monster is in the way. You need something else? No, you take care. That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I think that'll be it for this episode. I'm going to capture some lizards off screen, but otherwise, I think this is a good stopping point. Thank you so much for watching. Is that a lizard there? Or am I missing a... That's nothing. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't... Uh, uh, ah. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new videos of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every... When do I release these things? Monday and Wednesday? Monday and Wednesday. And join me next time when we head further up the summit, hopefully, with some fire retardant armor. Because that would be... That would be the cat's meow. Is that a lizard? Not a lizard. The Piliated Snagret is the boss that, as a child... Well, first of all, we're, we're supposed to be introduced here to the Piliated Snagret. And we're not... Get him... Get on him. Drat. That blasted Rudania. With Rudania running wild recently, Death Mountain's eruptions have gotten real bad. Do you see Rudania stomping up around on the mountain? They say that 100 years.